what's up everybody welcome to my channel in this video today i will be sharing with you step by step how you can compare two sql server databases so i'm going to go ahead and create two tables to ensure that the two databases are different and then i'm going to compare them and you'll see the differences in the databases so the first table i'll be creating is test table one And the second table I'll be creating is test table two. So once that is done, let me just refresh the tables and ensure my date my tables are being reflected. So by default they're in the DBL schema test table one, test table two. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to connect to Visual Studio 2022. Any version can work really. You can download this from Google. So this is a community edition where I don't need a license. So you can go ahead and create a project. So I'm going to select console app. It doesn't really matter. Select next. And I'm going to call it DB compare. And select next. Create. So once your project is created, what you want to do is select Tools, select SQL Server, and then you can do a data comparison as well as a schema comparison. So I'm going to be doing a schema comparison. So the first step is to select your source database. Select Connection, specify your server name, your authentication method, as well as your login method and then select the database so my source was adventure works now i'm going to connect to that and select ok so if you look in the source information section you will see my server name and then my database now for the target we're going to do the same thing select target select your connection i'm going to select adventure works show connection properties and then change the database now i'm going to select the 2016 and select connect select ok so on the settings tab or the options tab here you can make changes to the comparison that will be done but the default is pretty good so i don't want to change anything so i'm going to select ok then select compare keep in mind that this will take some time depending on the size of the databases so to the left is the source section and you'll see different folders so because i added new tables there's a folder for add if i had modified a table then you'll see a table with modified so when i expand this you'll see the tables that i added along with their columns if i want to push the changes to the destination database all i need to do is just select update target are you sure you want to update target yes of course then why are we doing this? In the bottom tab, you'll see the progress of the update. So update completed successfully. Now if we run the comparison tool, we shouldn't be seeing any difference in the databases. So let's minimize this and validate that on the database. Fresh. Expand the database, expand tables. And here we have the test table one and test table two. So that's it for now guys, thank you for watching, see you in the next video. 